Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show and this is the 2020 Pro Tour. Hey everyone, I'm Paul Hemling. Welcome to The Golf Show. On The Golf Show this week, we're going to look at the world of mini tours. So if the European Tour is the premier stage for a golfing elite in Europe, then you've got the Challenge Tour and the PGA Euro Pro Tour. Mini tours sit just underneath there. But don't confuse mini tours with mini golf. There are some really good golfers here. Okay, today we're at Headingley Golf Club in Yorkshire. It's 6am and the guys who are setting up the tour are already here. Let's go and have a chat with them. So it's not even half past six in the morning, the guys are hard at work. I've got one of the co-founders of the 2020 tour here, Chris Hansen. Hi, Chris, how are you doing? Oh, well, you're right. Good to see you, mate. It's good to see you. Was it, was it the glamour of mini tours that first attracted you to create one? <laughs> um, when you, when it's whatever time it is now, did you say six o'clock and I'm freezing cold? Probably not, no. <laughs> and you're playing today, Chris. What time are you teeing off? Um, I'm 11 o'clock today, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to have a run out again and uh, I think I played okay at Fixable last week. But One under last week, wasn't it? Well, I did, but I was a little bit cross, so it's, uh, it's, it's dragged me out to have, give it another go. Excellent, Christopher. We'll play well, Chris. Thanks, mate. Even I got my sleeves rolled up to muck in and help the guys set up. So I'm on the first hole here at Headingley. In just over an hour, the first groups are going to be teeing off. As I was saying in the introduction, just because it's a mini tour, don't let that fool you. We've got guys on here that have won on the European Tour, the Challenge Tour, the Sunshine Tour, the MENA Tours. We've got Graham Storm from the European Tour and John Parry. John Parry played in a lot of events last year on the 2020 Tour and won three of them. We've got players like Nick McCarthy who's played on the European Tour and in the Open. Nick was the 2020 Order of Merit champion last year and won two times. You've got the birdie machine, Nicholas Poppleton, who had 99 birdies last year. If he'd have got 100 birdies, it was a £20,000 prize. So these guys are playing for some serious money. The 2020 Tour is really interesting because all the entrance fees, less the green fees, go to the players. The founders don't make any money from that. So it's all about the players, and as they say on the 2020 tour, it's putting the players first. So today's event at Headingley is called the Golf Quiz Masters. The event is sponsored by Golf Quiz, which is the brainchild of Chris Hansen and Christian Beck. It's a great game that you can play on your phone, on your tablets, it's an app you download. You can do it free, you can play in some competitions and win some great prizes. We'll have a chat with Chris a bit later on about what Golf Quiz is, why he decided to come up with Golf Quiz, and how you can play and win some prizes. It's a really strong field here today. You've got Ellie Givens, who's the first female winner on the 2020 Tour. You've got Rochelle Morris, and you've got Sophie Lamb playing as well. You've got some elite amateurs playing, and it's going to be interesting to see how those guys cut it against the pros. Last week, an amateur won the event with a score of minus six. That was Stuart Easton from Irvine Golf Club. Minus six around Huddersfield is no mean feat. I'm now stood by the 18th green at Headingley Golf Club, where later on today, the winner of the Golf Quiz Masters on the 2020 Pro Tour will be crowned. Just looking at some of the uh, odds we've got on Sky Bet here, your favourites for today are Andrew Wilson from the Challenge Tour. Andrew's been playing great lately. He won on the 2020 Pro Tour last year. And John Parry, who's also won three times on the 2020 Pro Tour European Tour player. They're both at 9-1. to one. You've got Graham Storm, who's a five-time winner on tour. Played all around the world, if you remember him beating Rory in that fantastic playoff in South Africa a few years ago. He's at 11 to 1. You've got Nick McCarthy, 14 to 1. Chris Hansen is at 25 to 1. Last week's winner, Stuart Easton, the amateur that shot 6 under, is at 40 to 1. That's quite a generous price if you ask me. Ellie Givens, who was the first woman to win on the 2020 Pro Tour last year at Rockcliffe Hall, she's at 50 to 1. That's got to be a steal. So now I'm joined by one of the founders of the 2020 Tour, Adam Walker. Hi Adam, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm not too bad. Good to see you mate, going to have a lovely day today, you've got a strong field as well. Yeah, really strong field. We seem to be collecting some good players, even last year, so yeah, nice to see players like John Parry and Graham Storm playing and Chris himself playing, so yeah. And you also have a lot of regulars, you know, I've been to some of the events last year, keeping an eye on the leaderboards of, of the events you've got. It's great to see so many people returning and wanting to play on the 2020 Tour. Yeah, that's, we love that. I mean, we've got a lot of players who are really loyal and one thing we try and create on this tour is it's more of like a, a family feel. Everyone knows each other, all friendly with each other. So it's just a nice environment, good atmosphere to be in. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere. So you started in November 2019. Yeah. 
Um, why launch a mini tour and why an equal gender tour? We've always wanted to do it. Got some notes down and within two weeks we had a full schedule and we decided to go equal gender um, on the basis that we believe golf should be equal yep. um, and we never realised we don't, didn't understand why it wasn't at the time and no one seemed to do it or push it I was just like we need to do this yeah yep. we need to do it and you know it's I think well obviously we made the right decision because I'm not going to say a lot of tours have followed but it seems to be that way where it, it's kind of changed mini tour golf but that's yeah, not I, the only unique selling point of the 2020 Pro Tour because all the prize money all the entrance fees go back in prize money less the green fees don't they yeah yeah so um, it's just appealing to players to know that the tour's not like taking a lot of money um, and everything does go back to the pros and again live streaming something was never done on mini tour golf and Ian and live sport now it's now called content live as it was came on board and that you know that that made a huge difference and changed it up a bit more I call it a developmental tour um, I mean mini tour is just just something that it's just a yeah. phrase that's used yeah. for a one day event and that's what we are we are a one day we want to call it a one day tour event really because yeah. you know you look at the setup you've got a start, you've got referees, you've got drinks on the first tee, teas, gels, everything, yeah. you know, it's, it's certainly got that tour feel and to like it. You've got people like yourself and Ian who come along and do the filming and it also gives the players a chance to, you know, learn their trade and how to do interviews and, and yeah. stuff like that. That's, I think that's what's interesting. And, and if somebody wanted to play in this, how do they get involved? Can you be a member of the tour? Is there a membership scheme? How does yeah. it work? Uh, last year was pros and elite amateurs. Uh, you joined as a member um, or you paid like a subsidiary amount to play in some events but this year we're opening up to all golfers so the amateur schedule will be or we call it the tour experience which will follow on on the same days like today afterwards there'll be like say your normal golfers but your average golf will go out afterwards and enjoy an experience of the tour event everything's available online at 2020protour.co.uk i did play in the uh, amateur experience at fixby end of last season you know Average handicappers playing off the same tees, the same pins as pros. It was a real treat. You don't get the chance to do that very often. No, and I think it shows a different. I mean, you know, even I'm not a good, I'm not a great player myself, and like when you sit up on a tee and plus one, <laughs> two, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but when when you, <laughs> when you stand up on a tee and you've got someone reading out your name and you've got people watching you and you know your knees right. shake. Adam, thanks so much for your Brilliant. time. Thank you. Cheers. Now we've got players from the European Tour today, the Challenge Tour, the MENA Tours. We've also got some elite amateurs, some really good golfers. And I'm now joined by Craig Hare. Hi, Craig. Hey, mate. You all right? I'm good. How are you? How are you feeling about going out today, knocking it up with the likes of Graham Storm? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it today. Yeah. So you've played in quite a few of these events, Craig, haven't you? Uh, two or three. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's what's great. what's what's the appeal for you in doing that? Uh, it's just. Seeing where you match, really, yep. to the big boys. I've seen Craig play. I had the pleasure of playing with Craig at Huddersfield last year, and he's a, a top golfer, an eagle on the last, I remember, and a, a fist pump to celebrate. <laughs> Let's hope we see a fist pump on this 18th today. I'm hoping so, Paul, yeah. Good stuff. Play well, Craig. Have a good game. Cheers, I'm pleased now to be joined by Aaron Cox, who is the busiest man in golf. When he's not coaching nearly 100 juniors at Blackwell Grange, an academy that he's built up from scratch, He's playing on the 2020 Pro Tour, or he's in the gym. He's getting ready to qualify for the Open this year, so it's going to be a big year for Aaron. Aaron, how, how are you doing? Mate, I'm very good, Paul. Yourself? How was that for an intro? Mate, that was a, very, <laughs> that was a long intro. I need a breath just to just listen to it. Well, I've got the microphone today, so it's my turn to do the talking. <laughs> Aaron's also been keeping people going through lockdown. He's doing a lot of lives with some great golfers, even odd YouTubers. So that's been really interesting. He's been keeping everybody's spirits up. He's working so hard. So, last week, we've got to talk about that first. Three under, tied fifth. What a great start to the season. Mate, yeah, it was. It was a, a good start. Definitely coming out of three months off, uh, it was it was nice to hit the nice to hit nice shots, uh, hit driver well, putted well, which yep. definitely does help. Just got to try and hit more greens. A golf course that I do like, Headingley. Um, it's getting through those th first three four holes. Yep. Once I get through the first three four holes, I see that from hole six through to about sixteen is where I really have those good ten holes to really try and make a good score today. Excellent. That's really interesting. One of the points I'm trying to cover in this episode is get a feel for the way the pros are thinking there. You know, I, I might play my regular monthly medal at Fulford, but am I really strategising? Is it like which holes are going to be the ones I can be more aggressive on and which holes, you know, I need to give a bit more respect. So it's really interesting the strategy there and the amateurs could be a bit more mindful of. Absolutely. Course but, management. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so I'll let you get back to your prep. Good luck with the rest of the season. You've had a great start. You're off to a flyer. Thank you, mate. 50 to 1 today on Skybet. <laughs> Three under last week, tied fifth. If that's not worth five quid each way, I don't know what it is. Aaron, have a great day, mate. Thanks, Paul. Take care. Good to see you, buddy.
So I'm now joined by last week's winner, Stuart Easton. Stuart's sort of fantastic. Six under at Huddersfield at Fixby Hall. Hi Stuart, how are you doing? Not bad yourself. I'm very well, thank you. Got an early tea time today? Yeah, a little bit early last week. It was an uh, early rise this morning, but it's all right, it's worth it. Good stuff. We've got to talk about last week's round. That was a hell of a score around Fixby Hall. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I didn't go for the best starts, but I, uh, <laughs> nah, I made up with it. I can everything was really on point. I didn't really do anything wrong. I took my chances when I had them. and. Uh, no, it was nice to start off the season with uh, something in the 60s. Well, there's some great players in these events, isn't it? I mean, I know they're called mini tours, but one of the points I'm trying to get across in the episode is, you know, some serious golfers in here. And I think what's really cool about Stuart's win is he was the first amateur winner of a 2020 Tour Pro event. You must be really proud of that. Yeah, I was delighted. I was delighted. I mean, you just need to look through the tee sheet and you see a lot of, you know, really a lot of good players, you know, playing their trade on, on tours. You know, not above this, but with a little more stature, you know, Challenge Tour and, yep. and Euro Pro, and they're obviously using this to get their game set up for the year. and. Uh, Quite rightly so, you know, it's great competition, great to get out early in the season and at least when I got off and I'll just start playing golf again after the long winter. Fantastic, Stuart. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great game today. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate Cheers, it. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Looks like Aaron's got a caddy with him today. 50 to 1, that's got to be the bet of the day. I hope my one pound each way doesn't put any more weight on those shoulders. <laughs> I'm now joined by Talia Martin. Talia, hi. Hi, uh, are you alright? I'm very well, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. So you had a solid tied 34 last week at Huddersfield on a tricky day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the nerves got to me on the first seven holes, um, right. but I mean, it's to be expected being the first day back, but yeah. no, it's good to be back. That was first competition, I guess, after lockdown? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think it was eight months since I wow. last had a tournament, but <laughs> yeah, no, it goes passed quite quickly, but no, it was good to be back. Excellent. Great to see you back here today. One of the things I've noticed with the 2020 tour is a lot of the players come back and they play more and more. Yeah. So wh why do you do that? What's so good about it? The organisation and just being able to keep tournament ready and yep. prep for, you know, in the summer and everything like that. It's always on good courses and, yeah, and friendly. And I, I, it does seem yeah. really friendly, yeah, really definitely. nice vibe. And obviously, you're competing against the guys. How's that? Exactly. Yeah, no, it's a, a good challenge yeah. and it's lovely to see, you know, how it's done sometimes, um, especially when I was amateur. It was a really good experience yep. and now that I turned pro, yeah, let's go. So we've got some putting drills set up here. <laughs> what, what are you working on today? I'm just trying to work on some pace and then just getting the ball on the start line, really. So making putts, not holding putts, so trying okay. to make the right putt, really. Fantastic, right yeah, so yeah. Are you filming hitting a few? Yeah, sure Brilliant. thing. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> That's Talia Martin, 250 to 1. I would get some money on that for an each way bet straight away, guys. Talia, thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, thank you. What? I've been on the go since four. So I'm now joined by Ross Earnshaw. Ross, hi. Morning, Paul. How are you? I'm well, mate. How are you? Doing well, thanks. So a solid just outside the top 20 last week. So hoping to go a bit better this today. Do you know this course very well? Yeah, played it a couple of times as a junior and last year. Good track. Greens are always good here, so looking forward to it. Any particular holes to look out for that are dangerous out there? Any good birdie opportunities? Uh, second can be a tricky tee shot, yep. uh, but all the par fives are gettable. Excellent. I understand now today on the 2020 tour there's a playoff as well. Rather than having uh, people tied for a victory, it could go down to a playoff, and that's going to be a great uh, playoff hole, I think, the 18th. Yeah, if you get a, a big drive, it can be drivable. Really? So it be interesting how that goes. Drivable for these guys. Ross, thanks so much for your time. See Have you a great day. Thank Cheers, you. buddy. And I'm now joined by Mark Townsend, who's a freelance journalist who you'll see writing in a lot of the golf magazines. Mark, hi, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Good morning. Yeah, good stuff. And so what are you looking to cover today? What are you looking to see? Uh, I'm just, I do a bit of social media for the club, and it's just nice to watch golf again, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to follow Nick McCarthy, 
who play with at Moortown and Graham Storm and John Parry. Yeah, seems to be great three ball, isn't it? Three ball. I played with uh, Nick at the Hallamshire Pro okay. three weeks ago, so hopefully his back's recovered after carrying me around for 18 holes. He was he, outstanding. He did, he did mention something, but yeah. Not, not I think it was much. a career highlight of his, yeah. to be honest. He, he had a stellar back nine then that day, it was great. He's come down from then, then uh, it'll, be, it'll be all right today. Excellent. Yeah. Mark, thanks so much for your time. On the tee, Graham Storm. And on the tee, Nick McCarthy. Next week on The Golf Show, we continue with the Golf Quiz Masters right through to its conclusion. Things start to really heat up on the back nine. Birdie after birdie sees the top players lighting up the leaderboard. Can Ashton Turner hold this putt to force a playoff? He's birdied 16, he's birdied 17. Can Nicholas Poppleton get up and down to get into a playoff? Things are clearly too much for some people to cope with. Join us next week for more fun and more exclusive behind the scenes access on the 2020 Pro Tour. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please subscribe. It's free and it really has helped me out and hope to see you next week on The Golf Show.